I was offered a basketball scholarship to WT. I went to school to get a teacher certificate because I knew I wanted to be in ag. And you know, it was always that uh, if you have a teacher certificate, you got something to fall back on. I, I made my mind up, I'll dig ditches, I'll do anything, but I'm, I'm not gonna teach school. You know, I knew industrial arts would give me a way to work with my hands. Let me tell you about Bruce. He wakes up early in the morning, goes to bed early in the evening, but he's productive. So he's really very brilliant. Well, Bruce is a really unique person. I don't know if he's easily bored or just as a guy who just sees things differently. Uh, the thing I admire most about Bruce is his willingness just to take a risk on anything. I was starting to farm, and at that time, the big dry land farms in the area were turning to irrigation. People thought I knew what I was doing because I'd graduated from college, you know, so I was being offered land. I had to kind of figure all that out. He grew up in the agricultural business uh, and then got into fertilizer business and the grain handling business. And in each one of those, he was just extremely innovative. He farmed in Dalhart and Hartley and built a basic empire within the farming industry. We formed a partnership called Taos Cattle Company. It was a great partnership and, and it lasted for years. Um, lots of fun, made a little money, lost a little money. I don't know why, we just always had something, some new, but I sold all that and invested in the Barnett Shell at Fort Worth. But then just left that, went down to retire, I guess got a little bored and uh, bought a fracking company. He's an entrepreneur. That mind is always working. Never been in the oil business, but uh, got in the oil business, learned everything about it, bought frack tanks, watched how the frack industry worked. And with his farming background, invented a product that saved the oil industry millions of dollars. Uh, the next thing you know, he, he's gonna take a frack tank home and invent something. And uh, I, they needed frack tanks, so I bought those and wound up going to Granberry and I never have come back. I would see $10,000 clean outs, so I, got the idea I could put an auger in that hopper and that became the Sandex. We patented it and a lot of good things happened. He really like took his experience in agriculture and combined that with issues that he was seeing in the oil and gas industry to solve a problem in a way that is, um, it, it's really novel. It's safe for the environment. It saves money. I think we have 150 some of those and we own and lease all over the nation. I mean, that's what inventing is, is you see a need and this, if you're crazy enough, you start working on it and try to figure it out. When I see something that needs built, I usually have it in my head and I may sketch it on a napkin. I had her first engineer, he said, I don't see how you built this stuff without any drawings. And I'm just like, well, we just build stuff and if it don't work, we fix it. So when Bruce came through and completed his education here at WT, we didn't have an engineering degree to offer him. But I will tell you that the College of Engineering is very proud um, to claim him as our own and to claim him as a WT educated engineer who has really created some unique um, designs, who has patented technologies that are making a difference in this world. I think he represents WT, a West Texas boy. Uh, He's, he's a humble guy, he's a generous guy. He's used his experience, uh, life experiences, and his experience here at WT to go out and really do some things that have made an impact on an awful lot of other people around the world. There is some friends that you have, even though you're not together much, are as close or closer than a brother. And Bruce is one of those people. He deserves it because of who he is. He's just one of the finest men you could ever have. I think that Bruce represents exactly what the Distinguished Alumni Award is at WT. Someone who 
has, has come through this university and then taken that kind of knowledge and taken the, the panhandle like toughness and spirit and, and really what we're all about here and um, used it to have an impact on the world. I'm, I'm grateful to have been at WT. It was, it was the right place for me. And you asked me what did I learn at WT? I think the biggest thing I learned I wanted out. And so I finally made it.